What up, Coop Group? Welcome to Alliance World Season 39, World Number 3, where Salty goes against DSVG. Now, they are going for the top 3 this season, as are we, although our goal is top 10, but I think we can put a higher platform of top 3. We can do it. Salty is very talented, um, and let's get into it. So, DSVG banned Ghost, APOC, and SI9, which means that Kitty Pride finally is on the table for war for me. So, I was given a Kitty War, of course. Kitty, Tiger, and Nimrod. Looks like I'll be giving a lot of Nimrod fights this season. Uh, wasn't exactly planned when I first picked Nimrod, but hey, looks like it, he's great for tag along Kitty. Plus, Kitty has guaranteed heavy attacks, which is going to be useful later against Quicksilver, which we'll see. So the first fights are on Path 7. The new Path 7, which is all about shrugging off debuffs. If the opponent shrugs off debuffs, then I believe they reflect damage and there's a bunch of other things that can happen. So watch out for that. Um, I have a White Mag Speed Fight on this Korg, so he will not be shrugging off or purifying any stuns um, or any other buffs that I plan to put on him. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, I'm not going to throw an incinerate buff on him. If I do, it'll be passive so I can't shrug it. Um, as I stay below, cannot shrug passive stun, so it's gonna be fine. The next node is gonna be pretty fun also. It's gonna be a blitz node. Ha, blitz, because Nimrod has a blitz protocol, but we'll get into it. So my goal here is just to take off his rock stack as quick as I can, um, plan it slow, and just, if I can, not lose any health from Kitty, that's, I'll go for it. So just being super aggressive right now while I can. Um, throwing special 2 because, again, I can. <laughs> Why not? Um, he gets the fatigue debuff, but not a big deal because his um, thing is off. His rock attacks are off, but now they're back on again. I cannot run into him because I would take a lot of damage back because I didn't have... Oh, that was very risky. Gotta dodge this perfectly. I do. Perfect. Um, but I didn't have my my phase, so I would have taken some damage there because rock attacks are still up. They're down again. I think I'm going to try and get the special 2 again and just throw it right here. I'm going to dash back and dash in. Throw a special 2 because I can. Hoping it finishes. And I think it just barely keeps him alive. 2%. That's right. I'm like, really? And he's dead. Cool. So lost 1% health there. Could have been a lot worse, but could have been a little bit better. But it was like actually a really clean fight. So I'm pretty, fi um, pretty proud of that for being the first kitty fight in a while I've taken. Especially in war because just everyone's banning kitty. Screw you guys. <laughs> now this is the same idea. But I don't know why they put Weapon X here. He doesn't shrug anything off. He just goes unstunnable and goes unblockable. And yeah, my goal here is to get those special two as quick as I can. Parry as much as I can to get up my armors and to get my um my protocol ready. And I'm going to do a nice combo in a second. I think I'm just pairing here. And right here, for 14 armors, throwing a special two. Can I do a lot of damage? Boom, boom. And he gets a regen buff. Boom. And he is almost all the way down. Oh, man, that was so close. And oh, no. He went into his his mode, and a few hits, and he is done. So, yeah, Special 2 didn't finish him, but honestly, I didn't think... I thought it would, but I just sat back and probably shouldn't have. But it went really well. He's dead. So, super easy fight with Nimrod. It's a classic fight because of the fact that Weapon X um, regens, and you can just turn those into shocks, which I did, and give extra shocks, and just so much big damage against mutants. So, as I said, I love those fights because the fact that I finished at almost 100% health in both of those fights felt so good. And on to the next four fights. Um, originally, I was scheduled five more fights, but they were in more of a rush. And I wasn't available because I was at gym. And that just happened at that time. I'm always at gym. I'm available before, but if we're not moving early, I have to wait until after gym to move. So, right now, after gym, I did some duels. The first fight, it's honestly no worries at all. It's against an APOC. Now, yeah, sometimes these Nimrod's fights can take a little bit of time. Sometimes, but they're not hard. They just take a while. Um, which you'll see next war. I have a havoc fight. It takes forever, but it goes down. It's safe, um, especially against Apoc. Nimrod destroys him because he takes away all of his prowess, which he gets at the beginning of the fight. He gets three in this this fight because of the fact that um, you get two when you're defending, and then one on this node. Um, then I'm gonna take that Misty Knight, which I've died to before using Kitty. Not on that node exactly, but without White Max pre fight, it can go really wrong. And do I have white mag speed fight in this fight? No, I don't have a white mag. So we'll see if it goes wrong. It's not very pretty. Um, but yeah, I think anytime I fight Misty, I like a white mag speed fight. But the officers did a great job moving things around. Um, originally, I wasn't scheduled that scorpion, but I asked for it because someone had a, had a falcon. I'm like, no, I think Kitty would destroy that quicker. And I'm very confident in my Kitty fights. Very confident. I thought about parrying this, but I'm like, nah. Not a big deal. It's my last Nimrod fight of this war. And 
I wanted to do the next fight also with Nimrod because the next fight, the opponent gets prowesses anytime you block the special, and I plan to block Misty's specials. But yeah, throw in a special, 12 armors, a little bit extra damage. Um, but yeah, one more special too, just finish him off. He is at 30%. This rank 4 Apocalypse is just huge. I just have a little rank 3 Nimrod. He's smaller than Apocalypse, uh, although I think he should be bigger. Oh, what, parrying that, but I didn't. I know how to dodge out of that. And yeah, let's get into my next special too, and it's going to be game over very soon. Uh, waiting to get to it, and right next combo should get me there. Uh, I think I'm waiting for the protocol to change over, but I didn't care because, again, I'm going to eradicate. I get to move over both protocols together, and he's dead. So super easy fight. 53 hits with a rank 3. If I had a rank 4, Nimrod would be better, but I don't have the resources right now. Next fight is Misty Knight. Um, the node where anytime you parry her, you get a disorient on you, and you get some block penetration, meaning they can hit you and into your block and do more damage which is Hard Knock Life, and then there's a node that if you block the special attacks, per special attack you block, or hit, I guess, they get... Oh, I shouldn't be parrying this fight at all. So I have five of her armor charges. I'm like, shoot, don't parry. And I'm like, ah, oh, I need to get an intercept off. I need to get to 10 prowess. But yeah, she gets prowess anytime you block any piece of her special, and if you get more than three prowess, her specials are unblockable, so I'm just going to be careful here, trying to dodge out of that. I didn't dodge out, so I missed it, so she got one prowess. Not a big deal, which means next special won't... Oh, she shrugged that off. Not great. But I'm watching out for her evade. So I'm doing a few hits only while I'm phased because she has 10 cryogenic charges. means she can evade. She has 2% char per charge. Blocked two of those hits, which is not a big deal. So now there's two prowess. I don't know why it's not three prowess. I guess they don't add on top of each other. Um, yeah, that was a bit risky. I'm trying to bait special two, or special one here. I don't want to bait special two because it's a lot of hits. Um, now she still has two prowess. So I think I want to see that bug. But yeah, I'm playing a little bit... Passive here, so it doesn't hit me. I thought the prowess add up, but I guess I don't do that fight enough. Now, I threw on one potion here for this fight. I've done this fight numerous times before. This is an unawakened rank 4 scorpion. DSVG is... They're hurting. They need the rank 4s, and they're taking up unawakened scorpions. And he's he's pretty common these days. Um, but anyways, again, Falcon was originally scheduled here, but the fact that Kitty Pride has a phase and intercepts and someone's putting out a wet match for here already... You don't have to wait out any any time. Like Falcon, you have to wait out your um your charges or wait out your um your timer, your recon chart timer. And I'm like, I don't have to do that. I was bait special two, go unblockable, and if he does anything, whatever. Now, I had two more hits there before I could uh not have him get his evade charge, but I'm just playing it safe. I think I dash out here and my dash in, I, and if I get evaded, not a big deal because I'm just gonna hit him when I'm phasing. Um, so yeah, watch evade and hit phase only because if he evades me, then at least I can. Um, be phasing during it. So yeah, not a big deal. He phased, he throws a special two, and a special one, and luckily I have the detox attacker global, which means that because of that, anytime I block, I get to shrug off a debuff, purify something, and he puts on a poison, which kind of pissed me off because I could have easily used that poison to heal a little bit more, but it's fine. He's throwing on a special one, so he's not letting me da run in, but so whatever, it takes a block damage. I have one more fight after this, but I'm kind of pissed I use another item for the next fight. It's super, such an easy fight. Cool, so now I got the poison on me. I can heal up a little bit while I'm phasing, but he doesn't. He just keeps throwing special one. I'm like, dude, let me intercept. Let me intercept. Run at me right here. Thank you. Thank gosh. <laughs> Throw a special three with the intercept up. Not that I needed that because I could easily finish him off with a protection up, but... Special 3 protection up could easily do so much damage. It killed him, like, in one second of the special 3. Very easy fight. Very safe. Um, and I didn't bother putting Invuln there. But the next fight, I do put Invuln because... Do I put Invuln? I forgot what I do. But this next fight, I put on one level 4 potion. So I have a level 4 and, and level 5 potion in this fight, in this war. But this fight is just so fun. So in the event quest, when Kitty Pride was against Quicksilver, I practiced so much of a cheese. Basically... Once you have a slow on you from Quicksilver getting 300 of his, I think, whatever you want to call it, he can put the slow on the opponent and he can not miss. So he hits into your phase and you gain power if you're awakened. So again, because I have Nimrod synergy, I have a guaranteed critical hit and he cannot evade guaranteed critical hits. So his, his um, evade is now turned off at this moment. And my goal here is to get to a special three before he does. If he throws it for me, that's why I have an invom boost here. Uh, I'm just going to push him pistol 3. I have an inbound boost. Not a big deal. But I think I'm phasing. I was phasing here. Maybe. I don't really remember if I put an inbound in this fight. I want to say I did. 
But I think I was surprised that I was phasing here and took no damage, I think. I don't remember what happened, but it's a rank four Quicksilver. And I just want to get my phase on. There's my phase. I'm unblockable because I had more than 10 prowess. He's being silly. <laughs> Not a big deal. Throw a special three just because I can. And this is where the cheese fest begins. Now, this is a very slow cheese fest. Just like a Nick Fury cheese fest when he um, has enough charges to hit into a miss but watch i'm just gonna stand here no it's not a bug no i'm not i don't mean to be blocking or anything but i'm just gonna stand here let him hit into me i'm watching the timer i'm getting to my special three again perfect and i am slowly he's incinerated from the special three so i'm slowly getting my prowess potency up so my special threes will do more and more damage the more that i do i'm in 100 percent health <laughs> why did i heal up why i wish i didn't man so i'm not gonna bother hitting him with anything but special threes um, so he's just hitting me, and uh, he's just hitting and hitting and hitting, and here I am at another special three with 200% prowess potency now, and I'm still phasing, <laughs> and he's at 50 something, 57%, 43, sorry, I don't know how to read, and he's just going down, it's not 34%, I'm like, great, that did like 10%, that was like not enough damage, crap, wish it did more damage, but now he's at special three, throws his, I'm phasing, which... Because of my sick ability, I still take a lot of da I take a lot oh, I take no damage, sorry. But I get some power back because he's supposed to take damage, but I'm phasing and I take no damage. So I get two bars of power. If I was higher sick, I would probably bring on all three bars of power. And I throw another special three. Um his timer for when he puts a slow on me is slowly ticking off. So I think after this or the next special three, I think it's the next special three. Um, is when that timer goes away completely, and then he can he can miss. So I'm just waiting. I'm at 300% prowess potency now. Still going up rapidly. I throw another special three right here with 359% prowess potency. Um, so just doing so much damage. Now watch right here. This is how the fight ends. This is the, this is a very funny. Six percent. So that did 20% damage, and he misses, 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 and he goes down. So 100% health. How many hits did I take in this fight? I took 84 hits received, and I'm at 100% health. That was so fun. Oh, man. Now, I took that screenshot to send to people and be like, hey, I survived this fight. Wow. <laughs> Without telling you what this was, but hopefully you're watching this fight now that you know that anytime I had that fight, give it to me because it was so fun. Super, super cheese. There's nothing that was... Off in that fight. Very easy. So we were very close. This By the time I was fighting, we were up by two. But then after I after I woke up, we ended up losing this war. Um, I had six fights. It feels good. I was routine scheduled with like three or four fights, but I asked for two or three more, which I'm grateful for. Um, I was supposed to have seven, but one was given away. Um, which doubles my fights this season so far. With no deaths so far. 11 fights so far with no deaths. I did use one 14k, one 9k potion. Uh, this is 19k, but it's one 9k. Um, and yeah, Kitty is now the biggest attacker of the season, which I don't think is going to stay because of the fact that I'm not going to be giving more Kitty fights because everyone keeps banning Kitty. But anyways, we lost this war. We have a streak of one to two. <laughs> Look at that. 84 hits received in that fight. I just can't get over it. It's just hilarious. <laughs> um... But yeah, on to the map of what we've taken so far this season. Um, we can now add Path 7, that Cord and Weapon X, to this map, which is nice because it's so empty in, in War 3. It should be way more filled up, which I wish I had more fights, but it is what it is. Um, I'm being a fair attacker. I can add Path 6 now, and that Scorpion fight also, which is nice. And I can finally also, which I think I added to the last war, um, update the mini bosses. So, finally get a mini-boss fight this season at Quicksilver. Hopefully, I'll give him more. Every single war, I'm looking at the mini-bosses right away. I'm like, am I needed for mini-boss and boss? And I'm not. Finally, here, I wasn't either, but I asked for it, and I received it. So, it felt good. Um, this is to the future. Hopefully, more fights. And if I don't, it's fine. Hopefully, Salty just continues to kick ass. The officers did a great job with planning. Everyone did a good job with executing. And we will see how we do. So, thank you for coming to this war video. If you made it this far, just comment, cheese fight, and I'll catch you later. Coop. Sign off. Happy gaming.